Did a rung just give out? Yes. Oh, this is the dumbest shit thus far. Johnny? No. Johnny? I've come to the realization that we're gonna go back. I mean, it's the only way to do. We were 50 feet from knowing definitively if the Bouillon does connect to the Union. Entering the Union mine at Cerro Gordo. The Union mine here at Cerro Gordo is the reason Cerro Gordo is what it is. It's the 900 foot vertical shaft with 30 miles of mines off of it. It's the mine that they pulled something like $500 million of the minerals out of. And so getting into the Union Mine is very exciting for me. The only way that I know of right now to get in is to take the coist from 1865 down the shaft and stop at the different levels. And the, the issue there is it takes a team and it's just a production to go down there. I've always been curious about other ways to get into it. And I'd heard rumors. You know, the first whisper that I heard was of this thing called the Omega Tunnel. This is it, the treasure map for who knows how many adventures. But today's adventure is all about the Omega Tunnel. And if you can read here, it says, in later years, raises and winds is connected the Cerro Gordo 900 level with the Omega Tunnel, providing a required second mine exit. The Omega Tunnel was connected with the main Cerro Gordo 200 level. When I read that, it's crazy. It connects to the 900 and to the 200. Those are probably two of the most famous levels of the Union Mine. So that is the portal to the Omega Tunnel. And after looking at the map, that is what potentially connects to the 200 level. The 200, for more unfortunate reasons, it's the level of the mine where in the 1870s, somewhere around 30 miners lost their lives in a collapse and were never recovered. So that mine was sealed up. And the 900 level, I mean, that's the bottom of the hoist. That's as deep as it gets. That's the deep unknown. And so over the past month or so, I have been doing everything in my power to try to get into the Omega Tunnel, which includes using the loader. Going to try to open up the Omega Tunnel with the loader. Use that first, try to get it open as we can. Then use dynamite beyond that. So headed down to the back side of the property now with the loader. I was using the loader to dig out this potential portal or entrance into the Omega. All right, that's what we're trying to get to. Gotta get rid of all this rock. I'm trying to use this loader. See, basically what I'm trying to do is just get the bucket up on the rock and pull it down. Just keep pulling it down, then I'll scoop it and bring it away. So I gotta raise the bucket up as high as I can and then just kind of drive up as high as I can, you know, put it at an angle like this, and then just let gravity drag back down the rock. The problem with that is, it feels like you're gonna flip over backwards when you're doing that. So I'll show you a little bit of what I mean. Well, Progress is halted because we have encountered a BFR, a big freaking rock. Getting closer. And I spent probably a good week straight on a loader trying to get in. Look at this. Not that much more stands between me and the Omega. Tomorrow we have to get a backhoe for the hotel site. So I'll have a backhoe at my disposal. Oh, today we in the big boy vehicle. Got the backhoe. I'm ready to get into the Omega. Just something about driving these big trucks. All right. Time to switch it in. And get to the task at hand. 
of getting into this damn Omega. We got the extendo arm today too, ready? Fancy. And then with the backhoe, I got the arm, and I was able to reach out, remove rocks, and each time I'm getting more and more excited because it's like, you can almost feel the Levi's back there or something. If you can't tell, it's after dark. Still trying to get into this Omega. I really want to get in. I don't know if it's going to happen today, but I saw a little hole in the rock that almost looked like an entrance. So, getting there. Should I keep breaking it down with the, with the backhoe and loading it out? All that dirt I've moved today. As I was digging with the backhoe, the rock shelf above it became very precarious. It was overhanging and my fear was that I would touch it with the backhoe, the rocks would collapse into the loader or into the backhoe, shatter the window and potentially hurt me. And so I convinced Robert, who is the former caretaker up here, who hasn't been up here in quite a while, to come back up because he's a certified dynamite blaster. He is certified to use dynamite for mining purposes. And that is exactly what I wanted to do. Because my thinking was, we were close. If we could just blast some of the rock out of the way, then I could clean it up with the loader and the backhoe, get that out of there, and get into the Omega. Yesterday, Robert came up. I wanna make sure that you probe it, put your cap close to halfway down, crimp the cap, of course. And I like to tape the sticks together so that we have a a little more control. Oh, God, yeah. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Oh, yeah. it's more than tricking to wash your hands off? No. Is that for the nitroglycerin? Yeah, if you get nitro on you, some people are really affected by it. Other people are not. That's a severe headache. Yeah. That can give you one really bad headache. I've had several nitro headaches that were excruciating. Uh -huh. Have brought duct tape. I should have, but this works just fine. Yeah. So on the old dynamite, I used to see on the boxes like a percentage 30, 40. Yeah. This is uh, 60. So that's what percentage of nitroglycerin? Yeah, percentage in of it? nitroglycerin. This, this was a 60%. Trim the end. I cut this at a 45 so that I've got a a lot of powder showing on here. Okay. So it lights easier. Try to light this in the wind is really a pain in the ass. Yeah. We don't have any to do this. Okay. Now let's go see if we can dig ourselves a spot to set this. Okay. I was able to even light some of the dynamite myself in areas where Robert couldn't get to. I'm gonna really pack it in there. Fire in the hole. Didn't quite get in there. Blast it again. And we did four total blasts. didn't get into the portal, but the important thing is we removed that shelf rock that I was concerned about for the loader. And when we did one blast, it was very visible that the rock, instead of going out, just went straight down, which led us to believe that there was the portal there and it just fell into the portal that was still there. So now I'm at a lot of dig out to do. It's gonna be quite a bit of work with the loader and the backhoe. So in the spirit of getting into the Union before the new year, I'm going back to the Bouillon. Bouillon, whatever. I, I took speech class as a kid. It didn't stick, so if I mispronounce words, I don't know what to say. You're gonna have to deal with it. And so, tomorrow, Johnny and I are going back into the Bouillon. So the last time we went into the Bouillon tunnel, it was probably the scariest mine exploration I've ever done. There was all sorts of gear, 
problems. Johnny? The rope was wrong. My harness came off at one point. It was all borrowed gear all right. combined with a new mine that I'd never been into. Very old ladders that hadn't been touched for a while. It was just generally a pretty terrifying experience. And so I think this time before going in there, I really tried to make sure that I could take every precaution that I could and prepare as much as possible before entering. Two lights, big boy light, UV light, just in case we can use a UV light. I have headlamps, of course, full body harness. The other one I was wearing, I wasn't comfortable with, so I got a new one. Got the other stuff, gloves, brand new rope. Before I was using rope that was here from the last owners. Got the helmet, which I had last time, but. This is like a reflective vest. I'm gonna go tell Johnny that he has to wear it. You all packed up? Yeah, I'm just getting my, you want me to do the, the helmet thing? Yeah, you have to wear the helmet. And then unfortunately I gotta have you wear this too. What is this? The reflective vest. No, I'm not. Yeah, you gotta wear it, bro. No. Come on, the people really want you to wear. <laughs> no. Come on. I'm not. Put it on. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. It's wear awesome. This. <laughs> this is. I, look no, like, I already look like an idiot. I'm gonna. Uh, no. <laughs> it's so people. I mean, if you get injured, people know where you are. At least I feel like this is really appropriate. Just well, throw it on. Okay, I'll, I'll wear one if you're wearing one. But I already look like an idiot. So look. Okay, maybe this will. Maybe this will No, it's pretty fly. I like that. Maybe this will No, dude, I go all black. <laughs> I'm not wearing this <laughs> with the helmet and my stupid clear glasses. I look like a total dork. What do you think about the YouTube comments that think that you're a little reckless? Um, I think I love them actually. They motivate me. They Good. those comments are the most motivating because I want to prove them wrong, so I'm going to do even more reckless shit to cancel it out. Good. Well, at least I have a helmet today. I always have a helmet. I just don't wear it in there. I'll pack this for you. Here, let's go. Put that in the bag for you. Yeah. All right, we're back. Today's the day, Johnny. We get into the union. We were so close. Today we're properly prepared. Johnny's wearing a helmet for the first time in his life. Uh, he has a GoPro today. We have extra rope. I got a new harness. I'm wearing my helmet too. I'm gonna be reckless. Johnny's gonna be reckless? And we're gonna find some jeans. The research tells me that if there's any place at Cerro Gordo with jeans, this is the place with jeans. So, hold your breath. We're going in. All right, take two, we on tunnel. Johnny, what do you think is gonna happen here today? Uh, I think, I think I'm gonna fall. And I think I'm gonna get hurt. Um. And I think we're gonna find some stuff. And you're gonna come up with it all by yourself. I'm gonna find some jeans. I'm gonna find some. We're leaving Johnny behind. Somebody's gonna find those Capri pants he's wearing in about 100 years. There was less exploration this time. We pretty much went immediately back to the tunnel that we had the ladder break on us last time. We're back to our favorite ladder, ladders. Why did it have to be ladders? As you can see, we left the rope from last time. We are gonna take a different way down that we discovered on the way up. When we got back in there this time, we could make pretty quick work getting back to the main tunnels, but there's no getting around the main shaft area, the main ladder that went 300 feet straight down. And that's the one that, as I was standing on last time, it broke and there was slack in the line. And I essentially thought that I was in free fall. Headed back down, a little safer this time. Look at that, Johnny's even wearing a mask. Did you just fart or something? Oh, this smells so bad. Shh. <laughs> Headed down. While you're back there, obviously there's, a, there's the excitement and there's the hope that this is a historic discovery, but there's also just the primal basic fear that's involved in being in extremely dark place with an extremely long drop right below you and just a lot of unknowns. And so you'll never fully shake that, I don't think. It just, you have to find a way to manage it. And so for me, for managing it, I try not to look down on the ladders because I'm a bit afraid of heights, but if, so if I look straight down, that's a problem. I take it just rung by rung, you know.
One small step for Brent and Johnny. One giant leap for Damn. Cerro Gordo history and denim. Oh good, we're back to the part where the ladder broke. It's my favorite part of the whole day. So that's the rope that we tied off last time when we thought we were stuck. Now we're gonna go to the great beyond. I was not happy last time I was around here. Yep, there's the broken step. Was that something just fell good thing we're on that helmet just take it take it slow this mine is not friendly today yikes whoa careful sorry bro i just don't want to have the false impression that that was a real step on the way back up yeah, I get that. That's where your pipe ends. So you're gonna make a C shape. Whoa. Are you on a level? Yes, I am. Uh, so right are there down- more rungs below me? Yes, there are. They come back right out, right underneath you. But okay. just, that little part, part's not too fun right there. It's not, but... You just, I don't uh, What? We're gonna definitely have to use the Jumars to go back up. So going down a rope is pretty easy. You use a descender, and I use a Petzl descender that I like a lot. It has different locking mechanisms in case you let go of it. And when you go back up a rope, you need a Jumar or an uh, ascender to go back up the rope. And basically it lets you climb up the rope with these handles that slide up but don't slide down. So that way you can get yourself back up a rope if you have a section where you don't have ladder or any other way to kind of raise yourself up. We've made it to where we never were before. We ran out of ropes, we're retying, and we are not that far to the bottom of this thing. How far is that? 40 feet? Yeah, about less than So we'll know soon enough whether we're there or not. How you feeling? But this level is cool too. And this mine is massive. Oh, there's track, got the classic track. And we went all the way almost to the bottom and we stopped down on a ledge that was as far as we ever been. And there's this whole level of mine that we didn't know existed there. Wow, that's super cool. This is something. So this is a, the end of a shovel. And you wonder why they cut off the ends of shovels, but think about it. If you're in the narrow space like this, you just can't go up that far without hitting the shovel. So it's soft the end of it. I remember when I first see stuff like that, I think it was dynamite. Some type of label. Vinegar. It's weird. Oh. Let's see what's going on back here. A lot of dynamite wick. This is a really substantial part of the mine. They put a lot of track in here. It gives me more confidence. I mean, this seems more like the makings of the big mine than the small mine. So maybe as they were getting closer to the union, they were putting in better stuff. So 
freaking gross. Just what I want to see. Petrified rat. This is cool back here. It is. Um, you can keep going. It just dead ends. Oh. That's supposed to ruin the surprise. <laughs> you should keep going. Just hold it. Film it. Talk over it. Yep. Um, it's kind of sketchy though. I wouldn't go. I'm gonna go up. Use your hand. Use your use your head. GoPro and not the handle. Alright. You don't want to slip on this thing. It's true. Yeah, this is your float right there. Mine armor is it off? I forgot. Uh, I don't know. If you come over here, I'll check, but yeah. I'm using it down from this first. There's tracks though, but I haven't. I bet there is. Think about it. If you were. Gonna hide some jeans, or would you hide jeans? Yeah, that's a good idea. Somebody should do that. It's brilliant. <sighs> Anything good? Yeah, there seems to be a lot of dynamite wick in this level. See? Oh yeah, you're right. That's it's weird. That space is just big enough for you to crawl into, and too small for me, unfortunately. So yeah. you know how it goes. Well, I have a reputation for this. It's called recklessness. As long as I only endanger myself. Dude, <laughs> talk about gas masks. Come here. Oh, that's cool. Old school gas mask. That's awesome. Put it in my pack. Score. Got a bunch of dynamite to bring back. Uh, I'm gonna go near that. Dynamite boxes. You got it? Yeah. Get Don't wake up that bat. I mean, we got the ladder now. Hey, you got the time, I got the time. All these boxes. Looks like there are ladders that go back up. There's a big, there's a big bag right there. I know I saw that, but I don't want to touch it because those rocks look like they're ready to come down. Yeah. Cool. Look at this ladders. Hold up. 
big piece of rock that fell off from there. It looks like. This looks like a termite bolt right up here. Did that keep going? No, it just stops here. It looks like this was a dynamite bolt. Yeah. Oh, look at all those. So there's levels up there. Those, so. But that's I, the level we just came from. I think so. I'm gonna go up it. All right. And check it out. And then, uh, well, you know what I find. I mean, this big piece of rock definitely fell from the ceiling. Oh yeah. No, that's super scary. Okay. Those rungs are inset, so they should be all right. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's the main one. So that's where we were already. Yeah. Be, just be careful. Yep. Yep. Man, I never thought I'd see the day. Johnny saying, "Be careful." <laughs> You can edit. You can edit that out. Please, yeah. please edit it out. I don't you have like a reckless nature to uphold. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The moment we've all been waiting for. All right, guys. We're probably 20 feet from. Oh, so there's the bottom. What do you put as odds? 50-50. 50-50. Anyone taking those? Down goes fearless leader. And I'm up next. I changed those odds. 70-30. 70 yes, 30 no? 70 yes. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you what's down here yet. Why not? Oh I need a, boy! I need to know. Hold on, let me get off the rope. Is it even worth it me going down there? It's 100% worth coming down here, yes. Okay. I'm not gonna get on the rope. I'm just gonna crawl pretty close. All right, I'm off. <sighs> too much of a, it takes too long. This is a chosen wrist. Johnny? Yeah? Get your ass down here. We got things to celebrate. Right. Get out of there, I don't have We're at the bottom of the bouillon. And looky what we have here. Oh boy. Look at that. Oh boy. Guys, this is it, I think. That over there, so that's the bottom of the shaft that was our nightmare shaft that we didn't know if we could get down or not. That's where the ladder broke. And looks a lot like the Union Mine tracks. Welcome, Johnny. I have good news. Tell me. This looks a lot like the uh, Union Mine tracks. Oh. Well, lead the way. Go help. time. If there's ever a moment for denim, it's now. I mean, this, you have to think, nobody's been down here a very long time. Your meter's on, right? Gotta check. Low oxygen gas, low concentration. Hey, we have the Miner's Classic. The Prince. Prince Albert can. We got a can inside a can. Uh oh. Oh no. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so, no! Bomber. The hell are these tracks going then? They're... Uh, it's me, but no one can... 
Ah, no. Bummer. All that for this. Folks, it's not looking good. Nothing? Nothing. Just snow. Oh, man. That's disappointing. We know now. We know that it does not connect. And leave a little present for the next folks down. Medallion? What do you think? What are your feelings right now? I'm pretty bummed, but at least I know where this goes now. And I'm yeah. content with that. And guess what? There's still the Omega. We went back to the main shaft and I think the adrenaline, the excitement had worn off because you know, the bubble was popped. And then you have to scale this 300 foot ladder. And so you start back up and take it the same way you went down, you know, rung by rung. So I started climbing back up. Yeah, that's scaling like it's nothing. Welcome back. All right. I'm done. You're safe. You're uh, secure. How do you feel? Good. I'm done for this yeah. chapter of mine exploration. What do you feel about today's exploration? Uh, successful in retrieving the glove. Kind of disappointment that it didn't connect. But all in all, I'm happy that we... Well, we know. We know. that. Yeah, that's what I'm happy about, that we know where it goes. I that's think. all I care about. Yep. Let's pack it up and, as they say... What do they say? Get the f out of here. <laughs> GTFO? Yeah. And after all that, we come back above ground. Nighttime. Uh, well, just back from the expedition. Haven't taken off the harness or the Jumars or anything yet, but the Buyan Tunnel does not connect to the Union Mine at Cerro Gordo. I can say that definitively now. It probably did in the past, but collapse, 150 years. It doesn't anymore. But that's not the last of the Union Mine. That's not the last of trying to get into it from a different place. The Omega Tunnel is still out there. And I think this, if anything, just makes me more excited to dig that out in the backhoe and see where that leads. I thank you guys for following along on this adventure. I thank you guys a lot for following along on all the adventures. You know, it really means a lot to me. I just can't express that enough that I love sharing Cerro Gordo with everybody and I love the feedback they've gotten and the people I've been able to meet and the community that's kind of developing around it. And so thank you very much. I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna try to clean up as much as I can without running water, go to bed, and uh, I will see you all next week.